Hello there and welcome. Today I will show you how you can display a little image with your gold or your HP or whatever you... Uh, not whatever you want, but there are some options that you can use. And to do this, we simply create an event, uh, set it to parallel process. And to do this, we need the variable, we need the text picture plugin, which is included from the beginning already. And we need to show a picture, it's pretty s simple. All we need to do is to store, I created this variable already, so I called it gold. And we need to set the gold amount to game data hover and gold. So we get the current amount of gold that our party has. And we save it into this variable. And now we use the text picture plugin and set the text to so in this case you want to show the gold so it would be good so to show our gold and uh, the currency right next to it so to do this we first want to show so we we start um our party gold in a variable, and in this case it is variable three, I think. Was it number three? No, it's four. So variable four. So to display the variable with the number four, you can use this. So it just gets a variable, and to show your cur currency that you have chosen. In the database, you simply type uh, backslash g and hit OK. And the next thing we need to do is to show a picture. And it needs to be blank because we create text with this plugin and it uses this image. We say upper left, yeah, it will be so here will our gold amount appear and hit OK. Hit OK again. And now we can add uh, somewhere here to check if our gold is updating nicely. So we have this here uh, and we simply change the amount of gold here. Like he gives us 5,500 gold whenever we talk to him. So now we can start. And if you see here on the top left, we currently have no, uh, <laughs> zero um, gold. And if I go to this guy and tell him to give me gold, we see it also updates correctly. And we can still move on and do whatever we want. And yeah. So, you can do this for yeah everything that is uh, that you can control with a variable. So you can yeah mostly yeah you can also use script to get other kinds of data, but uh, you won't see this in this tutorial. So here are your options for this one. Uh, it's a map ID that you can show or. So you could basically make different uh, conditional branches and say if the map ID is like zero, you can display the name of the town on the top left or wherever you want. Or you can use this how you want. You can count steps. So if you, let's say you had something like the Safari Zone in the old Pokemon games where you only had like 500 steps and then you get kicked out of a zone so you could uh, display the steps or yeah basically just play with your imagination <laughs> 